I had a youth pastor back home in Detroit who said um, two things that you need to do when you go to CBC. Don't backslide and get involved in a church. I first got involved with the youth group and was just looking for opportunities to get involved, to start serving. And uh, through different doors opening, uh, some worship opportunities opened up. And although that was something that I'd never really even dreamed about or thought that I could do, God was opening some doors. And uh, ultimately, that led to me coming on staff after I graduated college and starting a program called Master's Commission. And uh, it was a phenomenal program. Some of, some of the, the greatest memories I have were spent doing that program and pouring in and investing into lives. And so I um, did that for nine years uh, until the opportunity to lead the worship department opened up. The pastor asked me to do it, felt like it was a God thing and uh, have been doing that for the last four and a half years. Last year, Pastor John asked us to read The Circle Maker, which is a book by a guy named Mark Batterson, and it's about prayer. And I had prayed, and I really felt like God was speaking to me that change was coming. God began to make it clear that the change was he was putting in our hearts was a change to plant a church uh, in Kansas City, Missouri. Initially, I think, it was a little scary at first, and wow, like we're gonna do a church plant. Um, but I think as we began to really pray about it and seek God, um, there began to really get a, a, a deep excitement about it. Kansas City is a, a very interesting place because although it is in the Midwest, and it feels Midwest on a lot of levels, um, from, from the gospel standpoint, it, it doesn't reflect at all. Two million people in the metro area, and uh, 1.5 million of those people don't attend a Protestant evangelical church. It's 75% of the people. And so um, we're excited about beginning a church uh, in that area that will hopefully be able to spread all throughout the metro area and impact the lives for Jesus. Being at James River and just seeing people week after week come forward and respond to the altar call and get saved and get baptized and their lives changed and get connected here. It's been such an inspiration to both of us and we're just excited to be able to go to Kansas City and see lives changed, hearts transformed and families come into a deep relationship with Jesus. Through authentic relationships, through um, missional efforts, whether it be community outreach, through our small groups. We want to show people what Jesus is all about. At James River, our core value is to reach the lost. And that really is going to be the heartbeat of the church that we plant in Kansas City, is to reach lost people, to reach people that are far away from God. For whatever reason, they don't know the life. They don't know the hope. They don't know the peace that comes from having a genuine, authentic, life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm.